what's up everybody welcome back to the channel ktv built um as you all know or if you haven't been to the channel i'm inside my uh g35 sedan right now and i got this car recently and i'm in the process of uh doing a couple of things to make this car into a drift car or make it you know be able to drift a little bit better so what i'm gonna be doing today is uh I'm gonna be taking care of the traction control and the airbags. Um, basically, you know, anytime this car detects like the wheel spinning um, or like slipping, it uh, kicks on the traction control. So you can turn it off uh, down there, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see it down there. But the traction control always like will kick on, it will override even with it being off. Uh, even if it's less, but it'll still do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it uh, completely. And then also I'm gonna be disconnecting the airbags, you know, just in case, uh, you know, I might hit something like, hopefully not, but I don't want the airbags going off like with any little hit. So uh, actually, what I'm about to show you guys, I got from Smokey Drift's video. He sent me this uh, on his YouTube channel. Go check him out. Uh, it's on a 350Z, but it should work basically the same for 350Z, G35. Um, you know, the center consoles might be a little bit different, you know, but basically it's all the same thing. So yeah, uh, hope y'all enjoy. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right, so first things first, I got the hood open already. The first thing that I'm gonna take care of is I'm gonna go out and uh, disconnect the battery. So I'm just gonna come here, open up this panel, and then disconnect the negative terminal right there. So now y'all can see, negative terminal is disconnected. I'm going to the cabin. a couple times Let's see. Yeah. just make sure the brakes a couple times and then I can move to removing um, this center console because uh, the airbags should be back here and uh, uh, whatever it is for the traction control is connected right here so Shift knob. Right and then I'll get started. I think there's uh, at least this is for my G35 sedan. Your guys' car may be a little different, but it shouldn't be too hard to take this out. I believe it's two in the back. Gotta move the seat up a little bit. And you got a screw on each side. And do the same for the passenger seat. So same for the passenger seat. Back is loose. Just gotta pull this up. So you guys saw I removed the shift knob, removed the two screws in the back there. Now 
remove this little trim here. Get this up. Now that's out the way. And there's a screw there. about to do this video but it's all good so now that you have the you know all the basically this little center console removed you remove this up but you want to disconnect this is this right here now you might have to uh undo these these bolts and like flip it over to be able to unplug it and uh so let's see if I can those little clips from there just to make it easier so you can have more space to move this right here. So now that I have the center console removed, this is what you want to just connect to the What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to disconnect it and then I'm going to cover it with uh, electrical tape. I'm not going to cut the harness just in case, who knows, like I sell the car or whatever and then I could install like everything like it was back from the factory. So, should be a 10 millimeter socket. Yep, 10 millimeter socket. Extension. removed put those there so they don't get lost and then just get like a flat head there and pull it out let's see if I can do it by hand hold on and then after you have that removed to come here this is uh the plugs for the airbag so Make sure your battery's disconnected. Pump the brakes a couple times. And oops. Drop my, my wrench. Hold on. And then just pull these out. So I got those removed and then I'm just gonna tape them off so they don't make any contact backs. And it should be fine, but just gonna tape it off. So I got the traction control, um, this box unplugged and same thing here. I'm just going to tape this off. So, you know, it's nice and protected. But other than that, I have traction control completely disconnected. It's gone. And then I have the airbags disconnected. If I want to, I can go in and plug them back in, but I'm just going to tape everything off and then put uh, everything back together. But it's a pretty simple, straightforward process. So I got everything connected back and I turned the car on and you see, I'm gonna have the traction control light on and then I believe that one slip is for it as well. The airbag light is on, but um, yeah, now it's disabled and now it should be able to, you know, you can get the car sideways without the traction control coming in and cutting the fuel. Um, like I'll press the button down here, but it's com completely disconnected. But yeah, it's all set. So I got the airbags um, disconnected and also the traction control off. Uh, it rained, so it kind of slowed me down a little bit. 
just from being like stuck in the front seat, but this shouldn't really take more than about 45 minutes like tops. Um, it's not super hard. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy and now this thing's ready to slide.